Hello, we're going to make a modified box plot. So what this is, is a box and whisker plot that has outliers. Okay, that's why we call it a modified box plot. Okay, so just like a box and whisker, we need five pieces of information, the minimum, my three quartiles and my maximum. But because it's a modified box plot, we're also going to look for outliers and plot those on here. Okay, so up top, we have my data, my information, whatever they mean, right? <laughs> so um, we want to make sure they're in order, least to greatest, check, we got that. So now we're going to start with our minimum and maximum, okay? So right now, my minimum is 15. Oh man, guys, I was going to write it in pencil. My pencil just broke. So we'll write it in, <laughs> in marker, but just know because we, it is a modified box plot, the minimum and maximum could change. But for now, my minimum is 15 and my maximum is 94. Okay. All right. You've probably have experience following quartiles finding, did I say following finding quartiles? If not, I'll link a video in the corner if you need some more examples. Okay. But quartile two is my median. Okay. So all I do is I count to the middle. So my quartile two is 45. If there hadn't been one number in the middle, if there had been two, you add them together and divide by two to get their average. Okay. Now to find quartile one, I'm going to find the middle of these numbers up here. Okay. Or down here, whichever you want to say <laughs> to the left of my median. So we're going to count to the middle there. It's just one number again. Again, if it were two, add them and divide by two. And then quartile three, we're going to find the middle of this side. So it is 55. Okay. If I were just doing a box and whisker, I would just plot it now. Okay. I have the five pieces of information, but we're doing a modified box plot. So we are looking for outliers. Um, an outlier is anything that is far enough from the data that I want to represent it a little bit differently. So it doesn't make my data look skewed. That's kind of a fun word to say. Um, so to be able to find outliers, I'm going to do this a little bit quickly. If you need a more in-depth video, Again, I'll link it in the corner. Um, to find these, we're going to use our IQR or inner quartile range. This is for my people who like to read things. Take a screenshot of this. If you're like, don't tell me, just show me. That's what I'm going to do now. Okay. So to find outliers, we are going to take our IQR, which is our inner quartile range, which is quartile three minus quartile one. Okay. So 55 minus 31 gives me my inner quartile range. 55 minus 31 is 24. Okay. Now what we do with this number, which is the length of my box, when you make a box and whisker or a box plot, that is the length of my box. We're going to take that 24 and multiply it by 1.5. Okay. And what I get when I do that is I get 36. Okay. This is my number that is going to help me figure out if any of these numbers are outliers. Okay. So what I do with that number is I'm going to find my lower limit, lower limit and my upper limit. Okay. Da, da, da. Sorry. I should have pre-typed that. There you go. Okay. Now what we do to find my lower limit, I am going to take quartile one and subtract this number. Okay. So 31 minus 36, which just happens to give me negative five. Okay. And then for my upper limit, you might've guessed it. I'm going to take quartile three and add the IQR times 1.5. I wish this number had a name. It does not as far as I know. <laughs> um, okay. When I add those together, I get 91. All right. So you're like, great. What does this tell me? My lower limit is negative five, which means anything, any data lower than negative five is considered an outlier. Obviously all my numbers are positive. So there's no outliers on the lower end for my upper limit. My, um, my upper limit is 91. So any number bigger than 91 is considered an outlier. So I do have one, which is 94. 94 is considered an outlier. 
if you think of this, we took the IQR, which we said is the length of our box. We multiplied it by 1.5. So basically what they're saying is anything more than a box, a full box and a half away is too far. Okay. In, in this circumstance. Okay. <laughs> For these. So what does this mean now that 94 is an outlier? That means it's no longer considered my max as far as my box plot goes. Okay. My max will be the one next to it, which is 61. Okay. That is my new max. All right. My minimum is still the same. All right. Now we are going to plot this doing my five numbers, just like a box and whisker. And then we just label the outlier with a little asterisk. Okay. So my minimum is 15. So about there, quartile one is 31, 45, 55. Oh, these are nice and even. My new max is 61. This is why it's called a modified box plot because we modified what my max was, right? Because of the outlier. Okay, there is my box. There are my whiskers. And then I'm gonna put a little asterisk at about 94. There we go. There is your modified box plot. Okay, if you need another example or if you need uh, steps broken down a little better. I will link a playlist for you, which should have all of those things for you. Okay. Hopefully that made sense. Bye.